ready, Mr. Carlisle. Light it up. Autographs, please. Help! Please! Someone! Fasten your seatbelt. It's gonna be a bumpy ride! Thanks for flying Air Spidey. Just another day in the life of your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Lately, things have been going my way. I got the girl, and New York finally likes me. Not that there aren't problems. Like this new guy, Eddie Brock, at the Daily Bugle. He's really starting to get on my nerves. And Harry, my best friend, won't talk to me. On top of that, new gangs have moved in, and they're dividing up the city. Still, it's nothing I can't handle. One weird thing, there haven't been any big supervillains around since Doc Ock. But I have this bad feeling like the sky is gonna fall or something. And soon. Spying on the apocalypse? That's bad for your health. Haven't you heard we're the most dangerous gang in the city? I wasn't spying, I swear! I was just walking by, please! Shut up! You're giving me a headache. Thanks, Spidey. I thought I was a dead man. I just happened to see these punks when I was working in the subway, and they almost killed me for it! Punks in the subways? What's this neighborhood coming to? Better go clean it up. Spider-Man, you have to hurry! I heard one of those thugs saying they were gonna take over the subway system. There's a commuter's nightmare. Don't worry, I'm on it. I must be getting close. There's music. Whew, I thought I was a goner there. It was close. What's up, officer? Good to see you, Spidey. We got a tip that the Apocalypse want to blow this power station. If they do that, there'll be a citywide blackout. The Apocalypse gang is on the move. Suspect vehicle stop. Shot fired ordinance. Time to go put their lights out. to tell us what's right and what's wrong. But let me tell you, there ain't no difference. It just comes down to who has the power to make the rules. And from now on, we have the power. We make the rules. Our oh, time has come. The apocalypse is here! I am so sick of you mouth-breathing knuckle-draggers. You wouldn't know power if it kicked you in the ass. And you sure as hell wouldn't know what to do with it if you got it. But hey, you think you're tough guys? In that case, show me what you got. Guess that's why you freaks call yourselves the Apocalypse. Because for you, it's the end. 
So Harry still won't talk to you? I've tried everything, MJ. He just won't listen. He's convinced I killed his dad. But he's your best friend, Peter. Deep down, he has to know you'd never do anything to hurt him. Don't worry. Give him time. I'm sure he'll get over it. Untie me! Let me go! We do worse. Except Priscilla likes you. Hurry up! I want to get a pretty dress too! Window shopping? Let's get rid of him! We don't want to miss the show! Thanks. Some of them got away before you got here. They were headed to an abandoned theater for some kind of fashion show. Sounds like an event I shouldn't miss. Cleaning this place is gonna suck. Next, we have Kiketa Zenobia, looking deadly in velvet and lace. Teddy bear grenades. Nice follow through on the theme, I guess. <laughs> Thanks for rescuing a Spider Man. Listen, this might sound crazy, but I know what a girl's got the bands we were throwing around. I, I work at the factory to make some. That's why I was kidnapped. Sounds like that teddy bear factory is my next stop. Now ladies, I know they're cute, but stealing is still wrong. Keep loading those boxes. The rest of you, squash the itsy bitsy spider. to the ground. Don't leave any evidence. We don't want cops at the wedding. Someone's been playing with matches. Looks like you got a choice, Spidey. Stop us or save the people trapped in there. What you gonna do? Whoa! The whole place is coming down! the van. I'm so fired. Don't worry. They left a trail even a blind man can follow. Whew. That dragon tail gang sure puts up some fight. They're pretty lethal. Glad I dropped by. What do they want with these old statues? I don't know. Beats me. We got a tip on the heist from an old guy. Antique collector named Chen. But he wouldn't tell us more. Maybe I'll look him up. Dr. Kurt Connors. Time is 8.47 p.m. <clears throat> well, my regeneration serum is finally ready to test on a human. And what better guinea pig than myself? I, I know there are risks, but I can't allow a twist of fate to undo the natural order when science can correct it. If the unthinkable happens. 
please see that my wife and son get this letter. Stings a bit more than I expected. I feel something happening. Parker! That's the third call I got about giant lizards running amok in Gramercy Park. Giant lizards! Get me photos, pronto! Right away, Mr. Jameson. Giant lizards? They aren't paying me enough. That's right, folks. Larry the Lizard has the best prices in town and name brand cell phones. Best reception, best customer service, too. Sign up today, get a free cell phone. All that fuss over Larry? Man, JJ's gonna blow a fuse. Well, I'm here. Might as well take the picture. I said get me giant lizards and I meant it, Parker. You think I don't know the difference between some guy in a costume and the real deal? Get me giant lizards or you're fired. Should have known that was too easy. Guess I'll start looking in Gramercy Park. Got away. I think I heard it a little though. Better check on those. Stop eating my hot dogs. Get off of my car. Shoo! Shoo! Nice. That's ah. gonna be a great shot. These shots are great, Peter. It's a bugle exclusive. Here's tomorrow's front page, Robbie. Rampaging reptiles raid city. Dr. Connors, you here? You okay? Stay back, Peter! Oh, Connors! Better catch him and find out what the heck's going on. Hmm. <laughs> 
Hey, Betty. Hi, Pete. Mr. Jameson wants you. Parker, my office, now! Um, what he said. I need pictures for tomorrow's front page! Spider-Man bolts while building burns? But he saved all those people. What's your problem with Spidey, Mr. Jameson? He's a good guy. Good guys don't sell papers! Jameson! Hello, Jonah. I've got a scoop for you. Tomorrow morning, this city will be a pile of ashes. Who is this? What do you want? And how'd you get my direct line? This town ruined me. And now it's payback time. Planted bombs underground, and in a few minutes, Manhattan will burn. Hello? Hello? Just what I need today, another whack job. So, kid, like I was... Parker! This is bad. They've planted bombs all over the subway. Even in this room. parents ever teach you not to cry wolf? It's not like you superhero types are in the yellow pages. Name's DeWolf, one of New York's finest. I need your help. The police want my help? Unofficially. The Order of the Dragon Tail's using a warehouse to run guns into the city. Judge won't okay a warrant, so I can't touch them. But I don't need a warrant, right? You get the picture. Okay, I'm in. Let's get something straight. I don't like vigilantes, so you and me... We're not a team. We just happen to be fighting the same bad guys, right? Something like that. By the way, before you take the place apart, get some evidence, a picture, or something. It'll make charges stick when the police show up to, uh, investigate the disturbance. Don't mess it up. Uh, you're welcome. Hey, Webhead. Good job on that warehouse bust. Always happy to lend a hand. By the way, that photo you took is really gonna help the case. Hey, if that crime-fighting thing doesn't work out, you could always get a job taking pictures for the Bugle. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. What could have happened to him? I gotta get you to a hospital. Hang in there, buddy. Mr. Goggin. I have another job for you. No! I won't do it! You said you'd make me normal again. Hmm. 
Dr. Andrews has done a fine job with your body. But your mind is still in need of an adjustment. If you resist, you'll force me to use other methods. Please. No. Not again. I can't take it. Let me go! I'd rather not resort to mind control. You're more effective without it. But it's your choice. <laughs> What do you want me to do? Man, guy's a monster. You sure he's secure back there? That brood ain't going nowhere. Boom! Something hit the roof! that name before. Mecha Biocon. We build the future. Now I remember. They developed military cybernetics. I guess that makes Scorpion Man a weapon. There's that doctor. Where's her pet Scorpion? Fresh out of tokens. Guess I'll have to hitch a ride. Mac told me you sent him out. He could have been seriously hurt. Mr. Goggins, a schizophrenic doctor. You can't trust anything he says. You put Mac's life at risk. Dr. Andrews, you're getting too emotionally involved with this experiment. I'm taking you off the Scorpion Project. But... you can't do that. Yes, I can. I run this company. Question my authority again, and I will bury you. Sounds like your conscience is bothering you, Dr. Andrews. I'm afraid I've put someone I care about in danger. I was assigned Mac as a test subject when I first started here. The Scorpion Project seems to have caused some kind of psychotic break in him. Scorpion Project? I was told it was developing cybernetic enhancements for the military. But I think Stillwell created the program for other reasons. Like springing Rhino from his tin can. We've got to get Mac out of here before he's hurt. But I don't know where Stillwell's hiding him. Maybe there's a clue in her office. How do I get there? Take the elevator back up to the island. 
and enter the main building. But it's a fortress. You'll never get in. Wanna bet? Hmm. He's been transferred to another facility in Manhattan. Wonder what other juicy info she's hiding in. The arms are going crazy. If I don't stop them, they'll bring the whole place down. Spider sense to tell me that was. Better get to Stillwell's office fast before they lock everything down. Alert. All personnel. There is an intruder in the facility. Security has been elevated to level. Sorry, guys. This is the place. Maybe this collector can tell me about... Spider-Man? To what do I owe this visit? How did you know the Order of the Dragon Tail would try to steal those statues? So, they did attempt to steal them. It is as I feared. Why? What's going on? Well, you see... Ah! They are all around us! Please, Spider-Man, you must stop them! Live or die, Spider-Man. Multiple choice? I think I'll take C, none of the above instead. We need some stock photos to replenish the morgue. We've got a deadline coming too, so get me these shots ASAP. Here's the list. Get going. These shots are respectable, but I've seen better work from you. Whoa! My spider sense is going crazy! What's up over there? Just a few more to go. Man. The city will be underwater after these babies go off. <laughs> You'll never catch all of us. Oh, sure. Bomb and run. This mad bomber's got us all working overtime, huh, Detective? I've been at it 24-7, and I still got no lead on who he is. We need to catch a break, and quick. All units possible 1033 reported at the George Washington Bridge. Time to punch back in. I'll get the bomb squad to back you up. Spidey, be careful. No prob. I've got these bombs totally figured out now.
You're too late, hero. Finally taking the city down. The fire hits those chemicals, this island's going to burn to a crisp. Sorry to ruin your little clam bake, but I'm not gonna let that happen. We'll see. Gentlemen, don't let him near those valves. Danger. The pressure threshold has been exceeded. Really? Don't think we're finished here, Spider-Man. My revenge won't be denied. The four of you get that tank ready to go. Hurry it up! My helicopter leaves as soon as my business is done here. Don't get left behind. Spider-Man just showed up. I was just in the neighborhood. Don't bother getting up. What are you people doing? I said load that tank. Spider-Man? Don't stick your nose in my business again. Sounds like you're the ringleader for this little circus. Time to take you down. Not today, Spider-Man. Just going to burn with the rest of the garbage in here. Pick me up. Hey! What? It's over! I'm putting you out of the hero business for good! Where's the 
photographer when I need one. Stay put. Sorry, boys. I'm handing you your walking papers. This may sting a little. Oh. Wow, it worked. Very funny. Well, if you think I'm gonna go easier on you just because you saved my life, you're wrong. I figured as much. Hey, uh, Spider-Man. I just, uh, wanted to... I mean... You're welcome. Made it with time to spare. Thanks for the lift. I'll see you later. Hey, DeWolf. How's Trix? Couldn't be worse. I just discovered dirty cops in the department. One or two would be bad enough, but it looks like the department's infested with them. I overheard some talk about a business meeting with one of the local gangs. Might be a payoff. So... I know. You want me to break it up and get you evidence to nail them. Exactly. I didn't hear the details, but they definitely mentioned the toy factory. Sounds like a good place to start. I'll check it out. Hey, by the way, Dwolf, watch your back, okay? Hey, I can take care of myself. Her heart's in the right place, but she really needs to lighten up. I owe you for catching those dirty cops. Hopefully I'll get one of them to crack and I can throw all the trash out of the department. Glad I could help tidy up. Need a hand, DeWolf? I'm kind of between supervillains at the moment. I got an anonymous invitation to a business meeting today. I think the crooked cops are on to me, and it's a setup. Sounds like you could use some backup. Stay close, but don't let yourself get spotted. Try to get some evidence if you can, and bail me out if things get ugly. Say something. The wolf! The wolf! Uh, stop shaking me. I'm wounded, not dead. Uh, your work here's done. The department's cleaned up for good, and I couldn't have done it without you. Thanks. Better go. Wouldn't look right, a cop and a masked vigilante hanging together. Uh, even if they make a good team. If you ever need to find me, yeah, I'll just cry wolf. There's Scorpion. Uh-oh, security's even tighter than I was expecting. I have to find another way in. The cannon prototype will result in severe repercussions for the party responsible. Spider-Man! Get me out of here! They'll use the mind control beams. Keep it down. Please, stop the beams! They're coming from the antenna on the bridge tower! Alright, I'm going to release you, but you've got to hold it together. Spider-Man, 
please! Better get to that bridge tower and take care of that beam. Generators are too tough for me to take out with my bare hands. I need a tool. hit them when they least expect it. Yeah, you're right. I have a hideout, an old bomb shelter downtown. I'll wait for you there, but don't take too long. I can be very impatient. Yeah, I can see that. I'll be there soon. Get away. Insect is somewhere in the city, Calypso. A hunter can sense when his prey is near. 
The next time you meet Spider-Man, you will destroy him, my love. But now you must focus on the reason you came here. Your greatest trophy awaits, and when you bring these creatures down, your name will live in glory forever. <laughs> Let the hunt be. Don't worry, Mr. Jameson. That picture of Spider-Man's in the bag. He's a criminal. Proving it's not gonna be a problem. Hey, don't bother talking to the boss, Pete. I got the front page all sewn up. You'll never get that picture of Spider-Man. Watch me. Maybe I will. You ready to do this? I guess. Are you sure about this, Eddie? I've been thinking. Don't think. I'm paying you, and no one's gonna get hurt. It's just a picture. Now chill. Give me your best Spidey pose. So that's Brock's game, huh? Well, he can't turn in the picture if he doesn't have it. Uh. Uh. I'll take that. Oh, you think you're smart, buddy? Well, think again. I hit a bunch of cameras around here, and now I have an even better shot than I was planning. You punching me in the jaw and taking my camera. So thanks. Guess I'll just have to take those cameras, too. Nice going, Spidey. Pinning something on you just moved to the top of my list. I'll get something on you if it's the last thing I do. Thank you for saving me, Spider-Man. Those girls are insane. They came to the library looking for some antique wedding rings we usually have on display. When I said they were on loan to the Natural History Museum, they just snapped. Oh. I'll stop them. Cordially invited to the wedding of Miss Priscilla. Ceremony at the Immaculate Lady Church, reception to follow. Fashionable attire a must. Sounds like I have a wedding to crash. Gathered here to totally marry this guy to the awesome Priscilla. Now's the part where I object, right? No! This party was my chance to show up all the other arsenic candy bosses. I'll kill you for ruining it. Get him! Oh, and kill the groom too. I don't like him anymore. Well, your artifacts are safe and sound. You owe me, old man. Patience, my friend. I'm not in the mood to wait. You promised to tell me the secret. Spill it. Hmm. Young people don't show proper respect for their elders anymore. Very well. The secret. For many years, I have been the protector of the bell and hammer. It is said that when the bell is struck with the hammer, 
In the presence of the stone statues, it will bestow treasures beyond the imagination. Enough wealth to own the world. What? What's wrong with you? Why didn't you tell me that before? It is a secret. What is wrong? The artifacts are safe now thanks to you. Is that not so? I thought those things were just old junk. There's no way two magical artifacts should be stored in the same location. What? They must have taken something. I'm gonna head back to the warehouse and get some answers. Thanks to you, Spider-Man, we now know the location where the Order of the Dragon Tail has been hiding their stolen goods. We are going now to retrieve them. <laughs> the power of the artifacts is ours at last. Soon the world will tremble before the Order of the Dragon Tail. Statues are worth millions. <laughs> Bring the next tool. Let me help you with that. Spider Man? Thank you, Spider-Man. I will keep them in a very safe place from now on. You better. I'm done cleaning up your messes, old man. What the hell is going on here? That must be where Dr. Connors went when he ran. With the water gone, I can follow him. You disappoint me, creature. This was a very unsatisfying hunt. At least you will make a decent trophy. Leave him alone, Craven. I'll give you more fight than you can handle. Ah, fight. The only prey truly worthy of my talents. I've waited so long for this moment. Yeah? I'm waiting to knock that smirk off your face. So eager. Good. <laughs> Don't worry. The hunt will be pure, and your death will be swift. Bring it.
excitement. What's the matter, Craven? Afraid of me? Dr. Connors? What's happening to him, Craven? Ah, Calypso has found the reptile. Go, and you will see for yourself. With it, you haven't got a chance. Be okay, Doc. I'll get you to the hospital. I'm sorry, Doc. The nightmare's over. But what's happening to me? Hey, Betty. Looking good. Thanks, Pete. No, seriously, I would definitely... I think Mr. Jameson had a job for you. Why don't you go in and see him? You're lost, babe. What's up, JJ? Get over to the courthouse. The chief of police is holding a press conference. And get your feet off my desk. What's the magic word? Now! I was thinking please, but whatever. Allowing us at long last What's to this? break the back. <laughs> Wilson Fisk? What's the kingpin of crime doing here? Fisk keeps pretty shady company. more than I bargained for at that news conference. Are you okay, Pete? I heard what happened. I'll have Betty cut your check. I'll pick it up later. Hey, Robbie, where's uh, Wilson Fisk live? He was at the courthouse today, and I'm sure he was involved. I'll show you where he lives, Pete, but I gotta warn you. Fisk is a dangerous guy. Don't go getting mixed up in... Yeah, thanks for the info. I'll come by later for that check, and, uh, you know, make sure it's ready. Go get your boss. Tell him he's going down. Those are some fancy pajamas, monkey boy. Bring it. I'm gonna chew you up and spit you out. That was uncalled for, Spider-Man. I'm taking you and your whole crime empire out, Fisk. Is that so? What a shame. Mm. Uh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna die? The apocalypse will rock your world! You don't have the muscle to beat the apocalypse. Do me a sucker! Fisk gotta demand a refund on his security doors. <laughs> Sir, 
this. You aren't worth my time, but these three apparently have grievances they wish to settle. I didn't mean to throw him that hard. No sign of him. Could he have survived that fall? Well, I'm done here either way. You've hardly said three words all night. Is everything all right? I figured you were talking enough for both of us. Peter, what's gotten into you lately? Nothing that's stopping your gums from flapping, wouldn't Saul. I think you should take me home. Now. Mary Jane, I... Now, Peter. Remind me to take a cab next time. Hey, don't turn away. Ow, you're hurting me, Peter. Let go! MJ, I... I'm sorry, I, I... I don't know what came over me. Neither do I. But until you work it out, I don't want to see you. Are you... breaking up with me? I'm sorry, Peter. I just can't be with you right now. Good night. Wait! MJ! What have I done? She's right. I've changed. This black suit has got to go. I need some privacy. Somewhere to clear my head. Huh. What's he up to? Doc, I need your help. Some of your lizards are still on the loose. Oh dear God, not more. What did I do? I... Take the guilt trip later. You have to help me find a way to reverse the effects. Yes, yes of course. If you can get me a sample of the regeneration serum from my lab, I can engineer an antidote. Your lab at the university? 
No. The lizard... I had another lab. Down in the sewers. I'll get the serum. Be ready. When you have it, meet me at the university lab. I will make things right. Oh, with the sample you brought, I should be able to synthesize an antidote. Here it is, Doc. Thanks. Uh, come back later. This will take me a while. Not too long, Doc. There are more lizards out there than we thought. Look at this! I took off all that armor, but I'm still a freak! I'll kill her for what she did to me! Whoa, big fella. You do that and any chance at a normal life is history. You're right! So what do we do? We'll make sure she sets things right with you. And that she never does it to anyone again. He has Jessica! She was the only person who's ever shown me any kindness. I have to save her. Whoa! That energy field will cook us like gnats in a giant bug zapper. Not me! Stillwell. You are the one who can make that happen, Mr. Gargan. Kill Spider-Man and return to Mecha Biocom to continue the research. And I'll free Dr. Andrews. You don't control me anymore! Shame. You could have been my greatest achievement to date. But you leave me no alternative. The Scorpion Project is terminated. <laughs> Rhino! You got it, Doc! Send another squad to Sector 5. The Scorpion is broken through and he's heading to E-Block. Still no sign of Spider-Man! I'm okay. You will make me normal again. <laughs> you poor fool. Don't you realize the process is irreversible? You will never be normal. You're a freak! I'll kill you! Stop, Gargan. She's not worth it. Let the police deal with her. Go to hell! She's going to pay for what she did to me. Mac. Please, listen to him. Let her go. You're not a monster. But I'll never be human again. <sighs> She's still alive. You should leave. I'll explain everything to the police. And make sure this never happens again. You owe Mac that much. Yes, yes, perfect. Ah, good news, Spider-Man. I've produced enough of the antidote to cure hundreds of those lizards. 
I'll need it. The sewers are swarming with our scaly pals. All right, there are three gas dispensers like this one at specific locations in the sewer. I placed them as the lizard to dispense a mind-altering gas that allows the ancient lizard portion of the human brain to assume dominance in those exposed to it. That gas should be long gone, but the dispensers are set up in the perfect locations to dispense the antidote with maximum efficacy. Now, the first two locations shouldn't be too bad. This one's a water junction, and the second is this room, which joins portions of the sewers. Both are primary travel routes for the lizards. Something tells me I'm not gonna like the third. It's where the lizards were created. Their hive. They instinctively return there to rest. So it'll be teeming with them. You can count on it. But it's the only way to be sure that the chemicals are delivered to all of the... victims. I'm sorry. Don't beat yourself up, Doc. You're making things right. Let's not do that again. I'm so sorry, Spider-Man, for all of this. It's okay, Doc. You're a good man. I wish good intentions were all it took. Hmm. See you around, Doc. Be well. Leave me alone, pal. I'm thinking. Bet I can guess what's on your mind, though. What am I gonna do with that damn spider, huh? What if I told you that I've got the answer? Yeah, wise guy. What's that? You're gonna help me kill him. Hey, nobody said anything about killing. I just want him out of the way for a bit, that's all. So you can count me out, freak. I wasn't offering you a choice. What do you want from me, you freak? Freak? I'm the freak. Oh. <laughs> Have you looked in a mirror lately? Now, let's talk about how we're going to destroy the spider. The two unidentified men are holding police officers at bay. Stay here. I'm gonna take down the walking sandlot. Be careful, Harry.
haven't suffered nearly enough. I'm getting bored. I think it's time to put you out of my misery. won't hurt anyone else, Brock. I'm ending this. Now! Thanks, Spider-Man. I'm sorry. I didn't want to fight you, I swear. It was just that Venom... Well, he said he'd kill her if I didn't help him. I had no choice. Well, she's safe now. That's all that matters. This should be a happy ending. I beat the villain, brought a family back together, and got the girl. But it's not that easy. Being Spider-Man always comes with a price. And today that price was a steep one. What keeps me going are Uncle Ben's words. With great power comes great responsibility. In the end, people need heroes. As tough as it gets some days, I have to fight on. Maybe the best way to honor the people I love is to never stop being a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man.